Hey everyone and welcome to another cool idea and in this video we'll make this organizer. My last organizer video got a very good response and I want to thank you all for all the likes, comments and subscriptions. So now let's talk about this organizer. It has one drawer and two side doors. It is very compact, can hold a lot of stuff ranging from sketch pens, pencil colors, glue bottles, color bottles and even bigger things like a point and shoot camera, watch, a trimmer etc. So let's see what are the things required to make this. We will need thick A4 sheets of thickness 180 GSM or more. You can also use construction paper, colored sheets, hot glue gun, a precision knife but you can also use a normal cutter. Both will be fine for this project. Scissors and a tiny glue bottle backed by a big glue container. Other things are glue sticks and cardboard sheets. We will also need two small magnets to make the magnetic door catcher. You can get these from a local electronics repair shop. I have also given the things required and Amazon links in the description so you can check the description for more details. So these are the dimensions of different parts. So let's begin. We will make the outer door first. I am using a cardboard sheet with a bend like so. This bend will act as a door hinge. Now take a round plastic cup, mark the boundary and cut the outer edge to get a nice round shape. Do note that the thickness of the bend or hinge in the door depends on the dimension of the stuff you want to hold. I wanted to put glue sticks and color bottles so I use 6 cm thickness. You can change that accordingly. Now we will paste a paper sheet on the cardboard. This is a 210 GSM A4 sheet. Make sure all the cardboard pieces in this project are thick. I didn't have thick cardboard sheets so I joined multiple cardboard sheets to get the desired thickness. Now make a round cut on the sheets. Apply glue and paste the sheets. Now apply glue on the sides of the cardboard sheet and paste a thin paper strip as shown. It's looking good so far. Now we will paste blue strips on the edges of the piece. These are 3 cm wide strips. Apply glue and paste the strip on the center portion first. Then carefully paste it ensuring it to be uniform and parallel on both sides. Now take a 4.5 cm square colored piece and paste it on the round edges. Cut the remaining portion and repeat for the other side. Paste the final strip on the remaining portion. This method ensures that the finishing will be very good and there will not be any rough edges. Now paste the paper strips on the remaining portion. To paste the strips on the door hinge, mark two dots one centimeter away from the edges and align the strips according to the dots. This will ensure that the paper strips will remain parallel to the edges. Similarly make other pieces. There is no need to paste this red sheet on the base, I mistakenly did that. Now apply hot glue and fix the side and back walls on the base.
it's time to paste the outer doors. Mark a line so that you can know the point up to which the door and back side wall will be in contact. I hope you got what I said. If not, then repeat as I am doing. Apply hot glue and paste these two doors. Now we will make the drawer. Its dimensions will depend on the distance between the side walls. So measure the distance and cut a cardboard piece accordingly. Now we will paste the side sections. Make sure to follow a pattern. What I mean with a pattern is, paste the longer sides first, then paste the shorter sides, so that the drawer can fit inside its slot properly. Now paste thick paper sheets on all the sides. This is how the drawer will slide inside the organizer. Insert two small cardboard pieces on the end. These pieces will support the upper shelf over the drawer. It's time to paste the final paper strips on the edges. For that, mark two dots on every side, one centimeter away from the edges. Apply glue and paste the strips by aligning it according to the dots. To make the drawer handle, take a small rectangular eraser and paste colored paper around it. Now paste a small paper piece as shown and paste the handle over it. Finally our drawer is ready. Somehow the video in which I was fixing the yellow shelf got corrupted so I have only an image. Sorry for that. This yellow shelf is nothing but a thick cardboard sheet with blue strips and a yellow paper pasted over it. So just apply glue on the sides and on the top of the supports which we put earlier and slide it inside. Now let's make the top pen stand. For that, take a cardboard piece with dimensions according to the length of the black lines you just saw. Paste blue strips over it and make three smaller pieces. Apply hot glue and paste the pieces like so. It's time to fix the pen stand. Apply the glue and carefully slide the pen stand inside. Do remember not to apply glue on the sides of the stand, otherwise the side walls may get stained by the glue. Now we will make the outside shelves. Let's start with the base. Paste the strip on the side of the shelf first.
Now paste the yellow strip on the previously pasted strip. Now paste the yellow strip over the remaining portion and our base is ready. Make two more of these. The length of these shelves is slightly smaller than the side walls and its width will depend on the kind of stuff you want to store. Now let's finish these shelves. These side sections are nothing but cardboard pieces covered with blue sheets. Apply hot glue and fix these sections. Paste a final white strip to hide the rough edges. Similarly make two more. Now apply hot glue and start pasting these on the sides. It's time for the magnetic door catches. So I have wrapped blue paper sheets around the magnets. These little tablets are nothing but small metal nuts with a thick paper sheet wrapped around it. So this will be our magnetic door catcher. Fix the catcher and make sure it is working as expected. Now let's make a scissors and pen hanger for the outside door. Take a paper strip and start fixing another strip over it while leaving gaps for the items you want to hang. Place the hanger on the door and put all your stuff inside the organizer. So that's it for today guys. If you like this video then do give it a thumbs up. Also share it with your friends and do subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.